kids in the last birth you get better life here if you if you are an untouchable if you are a poor person if you don't have money if you don't have job if your situations are bad that's because you have done some sins in the last life that takes away the sense of enterprise in, in people people are lethargic ask many indians in the villages they say that my faith is written on my forehead they would say it cannot be changed it's karma it's fate you cannot change it it's all predestined that that's the concept of reincarnation that's one of the major reasons that our people are not coming up going forward by 1935 Shanti's story was a national sensation and Gandhi appointed a commission to investigate her claims. A team of politicians, scientists and journalists took Shanti to Matra. Their aim was to test the 9-year-old's knowledge of the town and people. Would Shanti pass? When the team arrived in Matra, They were astonished by how much the child knew. She answered many questions correctly, although several she got wrong. But she was able to describe the holy gates of the city before they reached them. She could point out new buildings and streets which she claimed did not exist in the past. Shanti's brother, Virash Narain, accompanied her on the journey. He remembers it as if it were yesterday. She told the way. She to showed the way. You have to go that way. And now they are like that. And she guided the team to the home of her previous life. Of previous birth. Outside the cloth maker's shop, Shanti Devi met Namanda Bey. who would have been her sister in her past life she recognized me straight away there were so many people they were pushing her away from me but she recognized everything she knew of each lane where it led to knew every tenant knew where they lived she recognized the cobbler the washer all of them The trip culminated in a dramatic encounter. 9-year-old Shanti met 10-year-old Navneet, the son she died giving birth to. Mother and son meet for the first time. They pointed at me and asked Shanti Devi, "Who is that?" and she said, "That is my son. How did you recognize him?" She said my soul has recognized his soul and she began to cry Sab aadmiyon ko ye ho gayi ki is baat ko band kar For the commission this was final proof Their report concluded that if science and religion could meet on a common ground together they could unlock the miracle of reincarnation The case is of worldwide importance with direct effect on mankind We ask all scientists to help us find a conclusion. But what could science contribute to such an unscientific debate? In America, the McGovern Institute for Brain Research tries to unlock the mysteries of human memory. Nobel Prize winner Professor Philip Sharp heads up the unit. The soul in many cases has an implication related to religion or uh, good and bad uh and uh, a uh, existence beyond the physical uh organism and uh it's very hard to scientifically prove anything uh that uh is related to what is a soul What is a difficult concept for a scientist is accepted as a simple truth for millions around the globe.
For Namanda Bay, her sister's soul had been reborn in a new body. But she was the same person. I was so happy that I found my sister again after her death, almost as if I gained a new sister. I was happy, more than happy. But then she went back to Delhi. It was as if I was going to lose her a second time. I was left sad, very sad. Consciousness clearly comes or is shaped by culture in, in many ways, and the people we interact with and the, the environment we have. Uh, so it, it's hard to say in a biological sense what consciousness is. In 1987, Shanti Devi died at the age of 62. Four days before her death, she gave her final interview to Dr. Ravat. What do you expect from your future? I think that I will reach salvation in the future. Everybody has to go through the highs and lows of birth and rebirth. With this life, the cycle ends. I will go to God in my next life. Hundreds of scholars, investigators, critics, writers, journalists went to her, questioned her to the extent that right from the almost the day she started talking about past life till I know of the four days before her death when I had last interviewed her. This is the work of God. God made me his tool. This is all God's play and the world is the stage and we all dance as he wants us to. It says in the Holy Scriptures that reincarnation exists. My mother proved it and showed everyone that there is such a thing as rebirth. She was living proof and all those people who didn't believe in it had to accept that there is a reincarnation. But one year after Shanti's death, disturbing new evidence came to light. Kedanat Chobe, Shanti's alleged husband, had paid regular visits to Delhi. These visits could cast doubt on Shanti's claims. His trips to the capital regularly took him to a shop opposite her family home. Is it possible that young Shanti could have overheard Kedanath's conversations about his life in Matra and subconsciously absorbed the knowledge? You cannot underestimate the power of suggestion. <laughs> uh, uh, inadvertent suggestion. Conversations in a hall, uh, a parent telling a story, uh, you know, a, a member of the community talking around a, uh, 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 a gathering at some time. Children are a, a, a tabla rosa. They, they are totally uh, receptive to uh, suggestions. The human organism is an extraordinarily responsive entity and any suggestion and molding and response from the questioner can be used to shape one's thoughts, maybe subconsciously, maybe not with uh, even awareness that uh, that's going on. Ultimately, my conclusion is Shanti Devi's case is strong, yet it has weaknesses. the University of Charlottesville in Virginia. Here in the Personality Studies Division, modern science is coming head to head with the mystical beliefs of reincarnation. The unit tries to establish hard evidence of the truths behind the stories such as Devi's. They use the information to assess the potential applications in understanding the human personality. Its founder is psychologist Professor Ian Stevenson. For over 40 years he has traveled the world tracking down those